Welcome to AP 2020 Outdoor Shooting Range. Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Not anymore. Don't have to rely on the map torch when I'm annealing my brass. Stay tuned. All right folks, if we look at the Annie induction heater, this is an awesome design from Flexion. You know what, this is a complete turnkey system. You have the anti-induction heater here with the variable timer, which gets you set up for different brass types and thicknesses and diameters. We have the water-cooled coil. There's actually two, three different coils. This is for typically for most centerfire rifle cartridges. They also have a bigger coil. This for if you're doing a 50 BMG or larger cases. Once again, it's water-cooled as well. I have the Flexion Cooling Recirculator, which is a 12 volt, it's almost like a, a, a industrialized computer fan with a water pump system, which is pretty awesome. I also have the uh, push button, this uh, a momentary push button to, to trigger the signal. Uh, that input is right here. And then I also have a remote foot switch that I mount when I do high volume uh, for quickly uh, annealing a lot of pieces of brass. If you look at this DB9 connector, this is what uh, connects the Flexion cooling recirculator with the uh, water pump system. Of course, we have the start button, and then this is the on-off switch. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start annealing. I will do a... What I have set up is I'm using the Tempelac 750. This, so I've actually painted... Uh, oh my gosh almost prob probably half of all the cartridges I've reloaded in the last uh, 33 years. We'll go ahead and try. First off, this is the this is a 204 Ruger Hornady Brass. We'll go ahead and set it in place. Now if you notice, this is pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and zoom out. This is a uh, adjustable scissor lift, almost like a scissor lift stand. We'll go ahead and uh, get my brass centered just like so okay so right now this is a fairly small case I'm gonna set up at 1.3 seconds I'll go ahead and hit the remote start signal you saw it start smoking we'll go ahead and take the case out so if we look at the case you can see where the Temple like 750 degree Fahrenheit paint started changing colors you see that that's about essentially what you want right there I'm gonna record the time it takes to kneel every piece of brass here I'll pause the video when I get done we'll come back stay tuned all right folks let me go ahead and turn Annie off so this is what I discovered start from left to right 204 Ruger 1.3 seconds 223 1.3 seconds 22250, 1 1.5 seconds, 6 PDK, which is my Wildcat, 6 millimeter by 6.8 SBC, 1.5 seconds. So if you notice, obviously the smaller calibers, you know, the Flexion any manual states that most cases will be annealed in two seconds or less, and you definitely want to follow that. Um, Moving to the mid calibers, 25 out 6, 1.7 seconds, 243 Winchester, 1.7, 65 Creedmoor, 1.7, 260 Ackley Approved, 1.7, 68 Western, 1.9, 3040 Crag, 1.6. Okay, uh, 300 Blackout, 1.0. Go to the 30 calibers and largers, 308 Winchester, 1.7. 30-06, 1.8, 300 Weatherby Magnum, 1.8, 350 Legend, 0.8. You're wondering, 0.8? Well, <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you go too long. This is at 1.7 seconds, and just learn from my mistakes, folks. The 350 Legend has a relatively thin case mouth. And that's what happens. It just got overcooked. Let's see. Continuing, 35 Remington, 1.2 seconds, and 4570, 0.8 seconds. The reason why this is so short 
is that the 4570 is the diameter is larger and it's closer to the induction coil. All right, folks, I do want to show you that you can cook your brass. Beginning of the video, this was a 6.5 Creedmoor case at over five seconds. Of course, that's my 350 Legend, just at 1.8 seconds. So I definitely recommend using the Tempelac 750 heat paint just to see where you're at. All right, folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. I'll tell you what, the anti-induction heater, awesome, awesome device. You know, I've been uh, reloading since 1988. You know, I've struggled with trying to anneal my brass, whether I use uh, uh, butane torches, MAP torches, salt bath, uh, nitride. I've tried it all. This anti-induction heater, this is a real deal. You know, I think there's other heaters out there that probably cost maybe double. I'm not sure the manufacturer, but I tell you what, for the price, you can't beat this. And if you guys know the price of brass, you know, it's, it's important that we try to get as many reloads as we can from our brass. Uh, one last thing, this uh, scissor table, definitely a huge advantage. If you guys notice, I actually built this, uh, this uh, table with the trap door, but I'll show you real quickly the uh, scissor table right here. You can lower it to different heights. I didn't use the, uh, my trap door table, but I built this just out of some scrap plexiglass. You, you, heal, you kneel it, and it drops right out. That's pretty cool. All right, folks. So this Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll put a link in the video description below on where to get your ante from Flexion. Remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.